from analog. Hi, Jim. You've a uh, great signal up here. You're five nine plus. Yo, digital. We are everywhere you want to be. This is the CQ Blind Pam's Podcast. Greetings. This is WB3CAI. In this demonstration, I'm going to attempt to update the firmware for the Kenwood TS590SG HF transceiver. I now have the power on and I will press the menu button to the right of the uh, tuning dial, the bottom row, third button from the left. It did not speak. Menu, oh. zero, one. Okay, we're into the menus, that's the menu button. And if you check menu item zero, zero. Zero, zero, one point zero four. That, I believe, 1.04 is the current firmware installed on my transceiver. I will exit the menu. One button you're going to need is the MN. In that group of buttons, it's the third row down, second button from the left. Memory in 553.91797. Well, I have a memory installed in there. And I'm going to hit the clear button next to the zero on the other side. So, they suggest that you disconnect the power from the transceiver. They say disconnect the cord, connect the USB cable, and then reapply power. And when I did that, I heard the Windows chime indicating that a new USB device was found. I'm going to turn the power off. The first step is to put it into firmware update mode. And that's done by holding that memory in button, hold M in, and turn on the transceiver. There's no speech, but I believe there's a prompt on the screen telling you the current firmware version. And that will proceed to the software. I've downloaded from the Kenwood site uh, version 107. E TS TS dash five hundred ninety G underline B one hundred seven underline E dot X two of So there's an executable TS five ninety zero SG version one oh seven echo. If you have an older TS five ninety, I suggest you make sure you have the correct software, the correct version. There will be some differences and I'm not sure what new updates I will get other than the satisfaction of knowing that I have the latest firmware and possible fixes, and the satisfaction of knowing that I can do it. Okay, I'm going to start the software. Enter. Kenwood TS-590G firmware updater. Update button. To activate, press spacebar. Alt plus U. Okay, that's a good sign. It says update. I hope I get a progress indicator telling me that it's being done, uploaded, and when it's complete. Spacebar. Space. Kenwood TS-590G firmware updater dialog. After the firmware update, a full reset of the transceiver needs to be performed before the firmware update. Save configuration data by using the latest version of ARCD-590G is required. Cancel button. To activate, press spacebar. So you're given some warnings. You're going to lose all your menu settings and your memory channels. I've already done that. And... Okay button. So we have an OK button. Following this, you'll need to do an an update or a reset, I guess, of the um, settings. So anyway, if you have something, menu settings or memories, use ARPC to make a backup of those. Okay, here goes the firmware. I'm going to hit the OK button. Just hit the space bar to begin the update. Space. Kenwood TS-590G firmware updater dialog. Do not operate nor run any other application software on Windows while new firmware is being written to the transceiver. OK button. To activate, press... Okay, we're not downloading or watching YouTube at the same time. We're giving the computer full access to the USB port and computer. I'll do spacebar again. Space. Kenwood TS-590G firmware updater dialog. To rewrite firmware colon 1. Turn the transceiver power off to press and hold left bracket M dot in right bracket key. Then turn the transceiver power on through. Confirm the current version number and quote program quote appearing on the DLC display. When you are ready, click OK to start updating the firmware. OK button. To activate, press spacebar. 
I can assume that it says version 104 is currently installed and we're ready to do the update. I will hit the space bar. Space. Update button. To activate, press space bar. Alt plus U. Cancel button. To activate, press space bar. Alt plus C. Kenwood TS 590G firmware updater dialog. Confirm the firmware version number colon 1.04 greater 1.07. Click OK to proceed. OK button. To activate, press space bar. OK, it looks like it's telling us we're going to be updating from 104 to 107. This is where you cross your fingers and hit the space bar. Space. Cancel button. To activate, press space bar. Alt plus C. 1%. 3%. 5%. I'm glad to get the progress indicator. 7%. It's a bit slower than I expected. 9%. 11%. I'm running Windows 10 and JAWS, the latest version of JAWS. 20%. 2021. Today's date is 15%. July 18th. If you're listening to this sometime in the future, there may be a 17. more current release. 19%, 21%, 23%, 25%, 27%, 29%, 31%, 30%. 30 I'll mute speech here, the control key. So it looks 30. fairly good so far. The one indication is they tell you to disconnect the power initially, connect the USB cable, and then reapply the power so that Windows will identify the USB connection. 68%, 70%, 70%, 75%, 76%, 79%, 81%. 80%. The one thing I'm not sure is whether they are going to go right into the reset of the transceiver, or is that a suggestion that you must must do yourself? Recycle bin. Nope. What happened there? Did I change focus? Kenwood TS 590G firmware updater. To move to an item, press the arrow key. Kenwood TS 590G firmware updater. Cancel button. To activate, press spacebar. Alt plus C. 94%. 96%, 98%, 100%, Kenwood TS-590G Firmware Updater Dialog. The firmware has been updated. OK button. To activate, press spacebar. Well, I believe the firmware has now gone from the computer to the transceiver. I'm going to hit the OK button. Space. Cancel button. To activate, press spacebar. Alt plus C. Kenwood TS-590G Firmware Updater Dialog. To finish the TS-590G firmware update, call in 1. Turn the transceiver power off to remove the USB cable or RS-230B cable from the transceiver 3. Press and hold left bracket A slash B right bracket K. Then turn the transceiver power on 4. Press left bracket A slash B right bracket T to perform the full reset. OK button. To activate, press space bar. Well, shall we do that or shall we try something else. I'm going to turn the power off. We're done with the upload, so I can disconnect the USB. I want to turn the power on and check the firmware from the menu. I'm not going to do the full reset just yet. VFO A3.91797. I'll hit menu. Menu 001.07. And the firmware indeed has been updated to version 1.07. I'll turn off the power. Oh, let's see if my memory is still there. I'll turn back, turn the power back on. VFO A3.91797. I'll hit the memory button. Channel 553.91797. There is indeed a memory. VFO. I've powered down. And now it's time to do the reset of the transceiver. So I'm going to hold the AB button, second row, third button from the left, and turn the power on. Full reset? You have two options there. If you turn the multi-function, you have a choice of... VFO reset? Resetting the VFO to the default frequencies. Full reset? Or the full reset. So, to do this, just press the A-B button another time. VFO A14.000. 
zero, zero. So we can tell that everything's been reset because it takes me to 14.000. I'll hit my memory button. Channel E05.330500. So the existing memories that I had stored are, are now gone. A one four point zero 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 zero. And again, all the menu settings are back at the factory defaults. The memories are gone. If you made a backup with ARPC, you should be able to load the file and restore those settings and memories back into the transceiver. Thanks for listening. I'm glad it could be done with a screen reader. And if you have any questions, you can contact me using the email.